Hey everyone, happy Halloween. It is Diaper Perv, and we're going to go through um, the vintage diapers that I have in my collection. It's not even my collection. This was all gifted to me by one very awesome individual. So uh, let's get to it. So the first one, we're going to go from chronological year. This first one is a Loves with Comfort Waistband in 1985 and these are all one tape diapers like baby diapers are oh it's still really sticky there we go this plastic is just okay for me and then second we have I like this one better this is the Pampers Super Absorbency with Blue Way Shield in 1985 and I really like how how this one looks oh weird they don't have like the same type of standing white guard I, I don't know anything about baby diapers <laughs> I've done like zero research I'm just reading off a cheat sheet that he gave me <laughs> oh oops whoops okay that just like ripped off the actual diaper <laughs> but I just like the way this one looks I guess I don't know I don't know how to describe all the words and I like the, the feel of this plastic it feels really cool it feels better than the loves but this one, I like the feel of this plastic a lot better. This one is the Huggies uh, from 1985. I don't know, this one looks like, like a perfect classic baby diaper to me. There we go. And this plastic is like, I don't know how to describe it. It feels amazing. It feels better than the Loves and Pampers. The elastic is still stretchy and good. It's kind of yellowed on the inside. And it's got a really soft, like, above layer right there. So a lot of people ask me, like, when they've seen pictures of this collection, they're like, oh my goodness, it must sell it must smell amazing. Um, not really. <laughs> it smells like like an old closet kind of. I guess because because they've been in storage for so long. I don't know. It would just absorb the smell of wherever it's at. I guess. There we go. Let's get the crinkles. So next we have oh, the fun printed diapers. This one is the Huggies with elastic waist Disney prints, 1985, and. I like this plastic. This plastic feels really cool. Um, I think these are the possibly the first diapers with a Disney print. Oh, I like how long the tabs are on these. They're still nice and sticky. So that's pretty awesome adhesive. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Look at them. So the next one is the Huggies Muppet Baby Prince in 1989. Oh, this plastic feels very different. Mm. Oh, these are tiny. These are little. These are mediums. 12 to 24 pounds. Cute. Oh, okay. I'm going to read off the thing here. The second half of the 80s saw the introduction of sap along with taping panels. Until that point, thickness was advertised as a good thing. Now thin is in. <laughs> Still, Pampers and Huggies remained available in pulp-only thick variants for some time afterwards. Okay. 
Oh, this one's thin. This is the Ultra Pampers Phases for Boys Crawler, 16 to 24 pounds in 1991. The late 80s and early 90s saw the introduction of two gimmicks no longer around today. Gender-specific diapers and phases lines. Taping panels were tailored to the diaper's target age range. Uh, yeah. So these are for boys, right? Is it any? Oh, it actually is thicker in the front than in the back for boys. Oh my goodness. It's about double the thickness in the front. It's definitely noticeable. Um, see the tapes on these. Oops. Oh yeah, it feels really sticky still. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a line. This line right there. Going all the way down. There we go. And these are, these feel thin. They, they're thinner than like the Muppet ones, you see? And then thinner than the, the Mickey ones here. Okay, so the next one we have Phases Loves Crawler 1991. Loves went nuts on all over prints during this time. By this time, leak guards were present on both Pampers and Huggies, but for some reason Loves held out on adding them. Oh, I like this little cute Easter print. Oh, it's peach on the inside. Oh, wow. You can tell on the side the, there's a, a lot of elastic gathers there. Like some of the older diapers, the, the plain white ones, they only have like, like, like two things. And here there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, five. These are really thin ones too. I guess because these are for medium size. Look, yeah, these are pretty thin. They're as thin as them. Um, these ones, the Ultra Pampers phases for boys. Okay, so now we're gonna move on. Oh wait. Oh, oh, here we go. This is the Love's Phases for Boys with Leg Cuffs in a Medium, 1992. Oh, I like this print. I like these stripes. And there's a sailboat, uh, a train, a car. Yeah. So let's open these up. Oh, these are cute. Oh my, okay, so these have the leg gathers now. And they're blue on the inside. Just a hint of blue. I'm like being so careful with them. I don't know if I need to be this careful. <laughs> But these are super duper duper adorable. These are pretty. These are pretty thin too. There we go. Next, we have the Huggies Baby Steps for Girls in a Medium in 1992, and these are a nice kind of peach color. Huggies imitated all of P&G's innovations during this time, although the only thing different about their gender diapers were their colors. KC did have their own share of innovations, but in completely new designs, including the first cloth-backed Supreme line, pull-ups, slash goodnights, and swim diapers. Oh, I like this panel. It's not like a thick, shiny plastic. This plastic is a mat. It's, it's just like, it's a tape. It's just on there, on the panel. And I really like this, this feel of it. I like how simple these little teddy bears are. Let's 
super cute. These also have the uh, the standing leg guards here. And yeah, they have like four things here, four like of the elastic things. So these feel really good and secure. And they're super pretty. What a pretty print. I mean, I'm a girl, so I like kind of girly things. I'll prefer girly things. Here is the Love's Phases for Boys, large in 1993. The beginning of the end for Love's, their elaborate array of prints were replaced with the same generic taping panel for all sizes. Well, one per gender. The next year, they would be rebranded as a value brand. Ever since P&G upgraded Pampers in the mid-80s, bringing them up to the level of Loves, customers had difficulty differentiating Loves from Pampers. Okay. And this one's like the really shiny, shiny panel. I like the matte panel. If I had to choose between the matte or the shiny, I would definitely choose the matte. But that's just me. So really nice diaper here. Yeah, it's got the standing standing weight guards here. And this one, this one only has three elastics. Right there. Versus that one that had five. Jeez, I don't even remember which one that is anymore. <laughs> There's so many diapers. There. All right. So here we have the Huggies Ultra Trim for him with Leak Lock size 4, 22 to 35 pounds, 1994. Huggies had already introduced the cloth bag Supreme lines by this point. These are some of the last plastic bag diapers they produced before their regular line went cloth backed as well. They're crazy thin. These are ridiculously thin. I wonder what the capacity is. But look, these have cows on them. Look how cute these freaking cows are. It's got a nursery rhyme. And these ones are blue on the inside. Ooh, the tapes went a yellow color. See if these things are still sticky. Oh, oh, oh! They're really sticky, actually. Oh wow! Interesting. But yeah, these are ridiculously thin. It's like those ultra-thin pads, you know, for women. Uh, these have four, four elastics going, going through, and it's got a nice standing leak guard here. Okay, let's fold this one back up and we'll compare it the thinness to the last diaper. Or not the last diaper, but yeah. I really like this. Old McDonald had a farm. <laughs> but they're not as crinkly because they're so thin. I feel like the older diapers, like, which one, like this one, like the Huggies one, this one's like, oh my goodness, this plastic is so cool. I'm trying to think of what I can compare it to that's like today's diapers, but there isn't anything I can compare this to. Like, this is like, eh, because it's so thin, it's like, I don't know, it would be weird, it would, it would feel like nothing, you know. Okay, I forgot what I'm doing. Oh, here we go. Pampers Stretch for Girls, size 5, 26 pounds. This is 1995. By this point, brands stop using phases and steps and just use number sizes. Oh. So shortly after, they retur returned to unisex models. This has a shiny plastic taping panel there. Mm. 
these are oh that's weird that looks really gross oh i'm not sure what i think it just got discolored it's like eh. it's like a peach color on the inside like slightly yellow but i think it might have just yellowed from from age um we have three elastics here and the standing leg guard oh it's a nice nice big one here these are quite thin not as thin as the last one but it's almost as thin like look at that <laughs> I don't know they seem thin for for diapers And then here we have the Pampers Baby Dry size 6, 35 pounds plus, and it's in 1999. The last plastic bag Pampers and the first in size 6. This is the print on which the ABU SDKs are based. But the plastic doesn't feel like the same as the um, as the SDK version ones. As I say, it says gentle touch liner. Micro vents. I think it's yellowed a little bit due to age. And oh, look at the sides. They're, they're like stretchy on the sides. They have this blue thing here. So stretchy. Let's see how good the tapes are on this. Oh, I thought it was going to rip. They're still good. Oh, this was 21 years ago. I did not know that, that this was the last plastic backed pampers. Wow. I didn't know that um they became cloth backed then and that's why these 18, 19 year olds are wanting a cloth back diaper. You know, I've never enjoyed never having enjoyed plastic backed growing up, so you know, sad face there. <laughs> these aren't that crinkly. Like feel it like there's no crinkle. It's like, the plastic is like different. It's like a different type of sap in here. It's weird. I can feel it. What a difference between like the first diaper we saw here in 1984, how crinkly this plastic is versus this. It's like, like, look at thin sponge. Not much sound. But I do love um, the SDK print of these little teddies. And that's it. That's it for the diapers. And I have these other two here. This is a cloth bat Tushies. I've never heard of this brand. It's really thick. A very thick diaper. But um, it has no standing leak guards. So this must be a newer one, right? Because it's cloth backed. I don't know. I mean, if you guys know stuff about these products, you know, go ahead and add it in the comments. Oh, oh yeah, the tape's really good here. Cool. And then we have these things. I think these are fairly new. Oh yeah, these are 2008. Cool Dipes. Three fun diapers in each pack. Finally, a disposable diaper that's actually cool. I don't know. I don't think these are that cool. I like the other diapers better. <laughs> oh my goodness, this one's like... <laughs> zebra. I've never even opened this pack. I've only like looked at them through the, um, the packaging. These are very thin. Extremely thin. Not as... Not that crinkly. It's a very soft pl 
plastic. Oh, oh, I see. It's got the hook and loop. And it's got a panel in the front with the hook and loop closure here. And these do have a standing leak guard. They have two, two elastics here. Hmm. Well, let's just look at the other prints. This one has peace signs. Yeah, look at that. Not much noise. And the other one has, um, yay, <laughs> happy face. Cool types. These are large, um, 19 to 30 pounds. Hmm. There's some extenders I could probably fit these. I mean, I feel like a pull-up can hold, like a pull-up, oh, good night's extra large, has more capability than this one, because it's really thin, it's like a huge pad or something. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that.